using today's technologies for ride development to look at a ride decades ago. It's been exciting. A year ago, it was just a thought, and now we've got everything going back in. A lot of hard work went into this in the past few months. Let's pick up where we left off. On the way to Cincinnati, Ohio. That's where we met Jim Shea, president of Premier Rides. When Kennywood came to us and said that they really wanted to bring back the kangaroo and would like Premier Rides to partner with them on how that would happen, we were extremely honored by that. But what got us here in the first place? There were technologies that existed then which were good, but there are technologies today that exist that are levels beyond what was available back then. Part of the kangaroo's refurbishment was the creation of models, often used in aerospace applications, to carefully analyze the ride structure. And, you know, Norman Bartlett made a pretty durable ride all those years ago. It is a robust ride. There's a reason that it's run for decades. It was built well, but it was built back in the pioneering days of ride development. Once we knew what had to be done, the teams at Premier got to work. Each piece of the ride was sandblasted, allowing teams to carefully inspect and adjust as needed. A few important updates would be made any, any ride that's out there can always have improvements done. So we are looking at the ride using today's technologies, advanced computer analysis, and finding out what can be done to the ride to give it a life that's going to go on decades more. Back at Kennywood, there was no time to waste. The last we spoke with project manager Gary Miller, the ride site was little more than a big pile of dirt. A lot has happened since then. You know, in the past few months, a lot of people put a lot of hours into this. I mean, we have the backdrop. That's one item I'm ex excited for because that was something that's never been here while I was here. And it was back in the 60s we had a backdrop. Um, yeah, it's, it's 26 feet high. Um, we had the letters and the um, kangaroos. They're all going to light up. They light up in a sequence when the ride will be going. Well, we joined carpenter Matt Yeckel those 26 feet in the air as he was starting to light up the new kangaroo. As work continued on the kangaroo's new backdrop, it wasn't long before the first shipments of the ride itself returned from Premier, starting with the ride's track. That's also when we first met with Ray Micklow. I am the inspector at the kangaroo. Actually, I've been for the last several years. I also do the winter maintenance and things too. We've been putting everything together as it comes in and uh, just kind of seeing how, how we like everything, you know, getting everything back to its old style. The most exciting delivery had to be when the ride sweeps returned, meaning it was time to put the kangaroo back together. Micklow will tell you why he loves taking care of the kangaroo. Because it's a classic. Modern rides are a little more complicated where there's there's a lot of fine tuning even as you're running it you know through the you know through the years. But uh, this ride is one of those things where once you finally get a hold on it for the year once you have it set up, you're really just making small adjustments and really it's it's just it's fun to work on, you know? There's a lot of the finishing electrical stuff at this point. You know, mechanically, the ride's pretty much all together. We've got the sweeps in, the, uh, the cars in. Everything is new in this area. Uh, we got some new, some new flings on the cars, you know, everything's nice and colorful again. We look at the kangaroo as a legacy attraction. 
parks all over the world have attractions that really are part of their DNA. It's been a pleasure. It's been exciting. And um, yeah, I can't wait. Pittsburgh loves this ride. I'm excited about it. They're excited about it. I can't wait for opening day.